Hello guys, in today's tutorial we'll be fixing a couple of issues. One of them is that our player can't jump while in top of this box, not this box, in off this box, and then in top of the door. And to fix that issue, all you have to do is to click on the box and click on the door, and change its default layer from default to ground. And note this object only. And right now it should be working correctly. Now another of the issues at, is that sometimes when our player collides with the projectile, the player doesn't die. Let me show you that. As you can see, sometimes the player doesn't die. And to fix that, we're going to have to go to our uh, destroy script, which is attached to the projectile. And we're going to make this the projectile destroy not exactly when it collides with something, but in the frame after. So instead of enter, put stay, so that now the player can in the player controller this code here can actually be executed. And now that should be working. Let's see. As you can see, our player now dies. Always. And another issue is that this box collider, this thing that shoots the ball, the projectiles, doesn't have a collider. So we're going to edit a collider. So physics 2D box collider. And of course, change this tag also to ground. And apply to apply to all the prefabs just like we have to do with the door and with the box. But when we add a collider to it, yes, it's true that our player can now uh, interact with it. But as you can see, the projectiles, as soon as they hit it, they disappear. So we're going to have this tagged with something. So let's edit the tag. So shooter tag called shooter and assign it that tag and in the code of our projectile in the destroy code we're going to make it so that the trigger detects what the hell is string is triggering the collision so other and if the object that is, is colliding with dot tag uh, is different from shooter so only if the tag is not shooter the code will execute and now this should be working let's cross our fingers and it is now you can see it doesn't automatically disappear the projectile and with that done, we're going to fix one more bug. It's not it's not actually a bug, it's more of a improvement, which is with the spikes. Because the spikes right now have only this big sprite over here that we can't change. That's really big, and we want to create spikes of several sizes. So click on our spike sprite, go into the sprite mode, set it to multiple, and in the sprite editor, all you have to do to slice Sp uh, spikes in different locations is click and drag. Click and drag to create one set of spikes of two spikes, of four, of six, and of nine. By hitting apply, we have now created those spikes, those sets of spikes. We can even drag them. We can even drag. We can even drag them into here. As you can see, and we're going to leave the trigger, the is trigger to false, but we're going to have to make some modifications in our player program. After that, just name the spikes and drag them into the prefabs folder. Now, in our player script, go on to 
on trigger on trigger enter to D go on to go on to the bottom of our script and copy this this function place it over here and we're going to change a few things where it says uh, trigger enter to D put here collision enter to D and where it says collider to D put collision to D and here we're going to put other dot game object dot tag so that it accesses the game object that it's colliding with press save and you'll see that he dies to them like he should and that's it for today guys thank you for watching and in the next tutorial we'll be creating simple AI just like the Goombas in Super Mario.